All right, let's take a look at how we can do recurring emails with Formule. And I set up this spreadsheet. I haven't done anything other than create this header row here with email send date. That's when you want the email to be sent. And, and you could do something like put in today's date, and then you could do uh, equals this date plus 14 if you wanted to. Um, and then just drag that down if you want to send something every two weeks, let's say. Right, or just enter the dates manually, it doesn't matter. Uh, column B, this is where you're going to put the email addresses that are separated by a comma. So uh, I'll just put my email addresses in here, KUD. And I'll put my personal one there. And you could fill those out. Like I said, make sure you use commas and separate them that way. Uh, your email message, this might be what changes from week to week to week, uh, or it doesn't. You know, if, if you have the same message you're going to send every week, you don't need to actually fill this out. You can actually fill that uh, out in the formula add-on instead of doing it here, but I left it here. And the other piece here is we're gonna run this on a trigger. So we need something to happen that says, hey, send this today, okay? And that formula is gonna look like this. Uh, if this date equals, and the function is today, left parenthesis, right parenthesis, we're gonna put an X. If it doesn't, just make it blank, okay? Now, we want this to run down for the entire column. And if I do this, I'm going to have to copy this formula down, which I don't want to do because if I have to add new dates, then I got to remember to copy the formula down. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to press Control, Shift, Enter, and turn this into an array formula. And when I do that, I want it to happen from A2 all the way down to the column of A. So A2 colon A, and go ahead and hit Enter. Right, and now you can see that put an X. If I change this to the fifth, the X is gone. If I change it back to the sixth, there it is. Uh, likewise, if I add the sixth again down here, that X shows up. And what formula is going to do is going to say, hey, whenever you find an X in column D, go ahead and send an email to the people in column B. All right, so let's go take a look at, oh, by the way, if this happens, just go to highlight column A in your format. Number uh, date right there. There we go. Uh, here's the deal. Also, before we start running formula, you don't want to have this spreadsheet open all of the time. Uh, these X's are only going to be tested against today's date if the spreadsheet's open or if you change the spreadsheet settings. And to do that, we're going to go up to File. Down towards the bottom, you'll see Spreadsheet setting, Settings. And under Calculation, you want things like today. We don't want it to be recalculated on change. We want it to be recalculated oh, like every hour. So that way, this is happening in the background when you close the spreadsheet out. All right, go ahead and hit Save. And now let's jump into Formula. Add-ons, Formula, if you don't have it, install it. And we're going to hit Launch. So we're working on Sheet 1. Right, and we want this to be on a time trigger. There's no form attached to this. So we're going to do a time trigger. And you can pick when you want this sent. We want it sent um, on a day timer, let's say at in the morning. So people get it in the morning, that's fine, eight o'clock. And we can hit save and let's move on. Now, how many unique emails? We're just gonna do one here in the template. And the send condition, this is really important. Uh, we want when today's date equals an X. So when we see an X in that column, we want this to be running. Okay, go ahead and hit save. So template one, if Today's date, That's the, these are the column headers, right? And then if the letter X. Hit save, and now you're going to get into your compose window for this email. You have to, uh, when, when you see this next window here, you have to have somebody you're sending this email to. So this can be column B. Like you see right here, there's a star. You have to send it to somebody. So you have two options here. You can send it back to yourself if you want to, and then put your email mess email addresses in the BCC. All right. So that would I would do that if you don't want people knowing that they're also in this email list. Uh, if that's the case, send your emails email addresses here. All right, and then send this back to yourself. Oh, well, that didn't work so well. Uh, the other option then is if it doesn't matter, if people don't, if it doesn't matter if they see each other, 
on the email list, probably what I would do is I would just say, you know what, when I send the email, everyone's gonna see everyone else in the list, but it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna put the email addresses here, okay? The subject, you might put um, today's date here, update, and I might say something, uh, good morning. Just a reminder to submit your mileage for the week. Thanks, Dan. All right. I'm going to hit save and send. Go and hit send now. And there we go. We sent two emails. Um, now you see, I did get an error here. This is another thing you're gonna have to be aware of. There was no emails to be sent because there's no emails in this email address. So you can take this, copy it, and paste it for the entire row or for the entire column. Uh, you're gonna have to do that for each one of these messages. All right, and then you won't get this error. All right, so now tomorrow, uh, let's say we're in two weeks, this will turn into an X, right? Uh, here's your function, or the array formula. And formula will then run in the background and send an email, uh, and you'll get a send status here. What I would definitely do is test this out for a couple days to make sure it's working, and then go ahead and move with something more formal. All right, good luck.